I don't claim the finest weapons and armor. So I can get better prices here. Um. I mean, they're kind of want to keep that just to have. So I'm gonna keep that. I'll sell Ulf Ulfric shit though. Um. Uh, poison of glibness, resist fire. Uh, brief invisibility, cure disease, health stuff, invisibility. For 20 seconds, I already have other invisibility poster potions, so why not sell that one? Who cares? <laughs> not who cares, but, you know, why not is the best question. Uh, what can I sell here? I can sell you that amethyst. And that empty greater soul gem, and now you hardly have anything, uh, so... Alright then. Alright then. Fantastic. Stop following me, Hadbar, or whatever your name is. Jesus. Guy's like a lost puppy. Go away. Oh, what? I didn't want to break in there. Whoops. Hopefully nobody saw me. Wait an hour. Is Warbear in? Where's Warbear? Wait another hour. Ah, there he is. He's in there now. Doctor's in. Hey, War Bear. We've got small weapon. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Oh, you know the answer to that, my friend. <laughs> That's uh, me and me and War Bear go way, way back, well, way back. Got some cool stuff in here, but nothing cooler than what I already got. Frost resistance would be nice. Uh, I need one that just is like an all-purpose resistance thing. That'd be nice. So I'll buy your leather and leather strips just so I can sell you more stuff like I always do. Like I always do. Um, okay, so I could sell you the... Oh, I could give you a deal on my ebony bow. Because I have my Daedric bow, right? Where is my Daedric bow? There it is. Daedric bow of flame. All right, well, let's sell that. All right, Warbear, you're out of money again. Good doing business with you. I don't care. <laughs> uh, all right, now I'll go to the Drunken Huntsman, get that taken care of. Miserable wretch. Something you. What are you hunting? I don't need to hear. I don't want any of your bullshit. Okay, I'll buy your glass arrows too. I probably could have bought whatever glass or arrows uh, Warbear had, but whatever. If he had glass arrows, who knows? Maybe he didn't. Um. Okay, so all this stuff is pretty much set. Not selling any of that. Uh, keeping that. Whoops. I already went through the po potions, so it's just this stuff now. Whatever empty soul gems I have. Uh, it seems I don't have much to sell you anyway, so... Not much needing for padding. Um, okay. Am I 100% sure there's nothing else I could sell you? Uh, yeah, I'll keep the rest of this stuff. Alright, well. Then I'll have to Thank store... I don't really care. For your thanks, sir. Because you call me a miserable wretch every single time. Let me go store the leather real quick. Alright. Auto saving. Excuse me, Uthgird. As always, good to see you, Uthgird. Store my leather in here. So that's all taken care of. And now I have a lot more uh, open space. Yay! Let me make my new sword a favorited thing, and uh, Daedric Sword of Leeching, I will make that, oh, whoops, that's left, that's right. Cool. So that's all set. And when I level up, I will be able to uh, unlock the... Enchanting improvement one, I believe. Oh, that guy running up to me every single time is getting annoying. I work with my mother. Um, so, we are going to start 
uh, doing more of the main mission here. If you guys didn't see my update on it, I was planning on doing, finishing up the main mission. And then I will, uh, after that, kind of not have Dansky and Daily be daily anymore. That was kind of the idea I was going with. So, let's head into uh, the creepy area, Skyhaven Temple, and learn this shout. But yeah, so Dansky and Daily won't be so daily once I uh, finish the main missions. It'll be more so... Uh, Special maybe once a week thingy. We'll we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together guys So where are we going? We're going further up and This very well, I think when we did when we got to this place. I think this is before I had Mods, I don't know. I can't remember Seems like we're going this way, right? Either way going up. Yeah, either way is going up Opening up Skyrim. Look at that horsey! <laughs> I cut myself off. Isn't that funny? All right, what's going on over here? I used to dream of it. Esper. I dream I was standing someplace high up, a tower or a mountain. It was always just before dawn. The whole world was in darkness. Then came the flash of light, just on the horizon, and in the clouds that marked the border. It could have been lightning, but there was no thunder. Uh-huh. In the dream, the sense of foreboding grew. I never wake up. Then it came again, this time more distinct, closer. Definitely not lightning. Now it was orange, brilliant orange. The color of hearth and dawn. And a sound, too, distinct and indistinct. Not thunder, something else. Something uh, I should recognize, but in the dream I cannot place it. I want to leave my high place to seek shelter from what uh, I don't yet know. In the manner of dreams I cannot escape. I'm forced to wait and watch. Then, finally, realization and horror arrive together. The orange is flame, heat. The sound, the roar challenge in their ancient tongue. But now it's too late for escape. The dragon is upon me. Fire and darkness descending like a thunderbolt. Hmm. And not just any dragon, but the dragon, Aldrin, the world eater, the dragon who devours both the living and the dead. And then I would wake up and hope that it was just a dream. Hmm. But know that it was not. What the hell? We know about Parthenon. He's still he's still talking about his story. I want to hear his, where is he going? Uh, 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 turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't, and it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. Wait, what? And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. He committed atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Wait, Until what? he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Wait, uh, I don't want to kill Parthenax. What? No! Wait, what? I don't want to kill Parthenax. What do you have against the Greybeards? If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their mountain with them and talk to the sky or whatever it is they do. The Greybeards are so afraid of power that they won't use it. Think about it. Have they tried to stop the civil war or done anything about Alduin? No. They helped me. And they're afraid of you, of your power. What? Trust me, there is no need to be afraid. Think of Tiber Septim. Do you think he'd have founded the Empire if he'd listened to the Greybeards? I don't- about Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to die? I don't want to kill Parthenax. Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. 
We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. Where'd Asburn go? Asburn? <sighs> what the fuck? I don't want to kill Parthenax. Are there any more like dragon ones that. What the fuck is this? Why do I have two? Why did Esbern go inside? Like, what the fuck happened? The fuck? I don't. Uh, uh, uh. Parthenax. Uh, uh, I don't want to kill him. If I have the choice not to kill him, I'm not going to kill him. I can't. I don't remember any of this when I originally played the game. Where the hell did Esbern go? Esbern, where the fuck? I wanted to hear the end of your story, damn it. Did you say something? You'll have to speak up. I'm a little deaf in my right ear. Uh, I need a way to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach. Any ideas? Interesting problem. Hmm, yes. I've been poring over the records here in Skyhaven Temple. And I'm guessing. That wasn't him. <laughs> that was a different voice. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Cross-referencing this with Delphine's map of dragon burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Alduin has raised up. Okay, how does that help us? Uh, don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. By calling the dragon with a voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Okay, why would he come when called? He's not compelled to. But dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Okay. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon after your victory over Aldrin. I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your call. Okay, so what's this dragon's name? Ah, indeed. I'm no master of the voice, but it is written here in the scroll. Od Avin. Winged snow hunter, as I read it. Okay. Snow call dragon. Okay. Wow. Look at that right there. Look at that right there. It's so pretty. Alright, well, Esburn, can I talk to him about Parthenex? Justice can be harsh, but it is still justice. Parthenax deserves to die. <sighs> Why does he need to die? Parthenax was the author of many atrocities. <sighs> He's saying the same thing. To be remembered for the thousand. I uh, <laughs> I don't want to kill him though. <sighs> Jeez. To the Karth Spire we go. I really don't want to kill him. I've said about 80 times, but I really don't. I would like to not have to kill Parthenax. That'd be... That'd be good. Shit. Well, where is this sending me currently? So... The Fallen. I don't want to kill him. I'm waiting for that. Um... After I defeated Alduin, so I'm going to be pre preparing the trap for Alduin. Alright, so... I'm going to fast travel here, and then I will uh, end this session, and we will come back to it tomorrow. So we'll just head into Dragon's Reach, and then we'll set the trap for the Snow Dragon dude. And hopefully he'll come, which he should, because honestly, I mean, I'm the Dragonborn. What the fuck? Go away, Hadvar!